Hi everyone, my name is Rotem. I'm one of the creators of Atlas, and today I want to talk to you about how you can write tests for your database schema. In the past couple of decades, testing has become a super critical part of modern software engineering. By writing tests, you can make sure that your code behaves correctly, and even better, you can make sure that it keeps running correctly in the future when people make changes to the code base. Today, I want to show you how you can use Atlas to extend your testing coverage to include logic that lies inside your database schema. Let's see a demo. Okay, let's see how this works. So with the new version of Atlas, we've added support for writing test cases for your database schema. I'm going to introduce my specific schema in a moment, but for now, let's just look at the syntax for defining these tests. So we have an HCL block here. The file name is important. It's something.test.hcl. And in these blocks, I can define SQL commands that I want to run against my test database and some assertions to make sure that everything works correctly. Now, as we have learned from testing best practices, it's very important to start with a failing test case and then fix it. This way we can be sure that our change is what caused the test to be green and we go from red to green. So we have a, a test case here. We select two plus two and our assertion is that the output is going to be five. Let's try this at last schema test. And of course we expected five but got four. Let's just fix this and make sure that our test passes correctly. Great. 2 plus 2 is 4. Certainly not something to write home about, but let's see now a more interesting use case. Okay, that was a fun example, but let's show something a bit more realistic this time. So the example I want to show you is how you can use your Postgres database, how you can use trigger functions to implement an automatic audit log. So in my application, I have a very simple application with a users table that keeps track of users, their usernames, their email addresses. And what I want to do is to take the second table that I've created, the audit clock table, and to have this table populated whenever a change is made to the main table. I'm going to do this using trigger functions, but let's start our process by first defining our expectations, by first creating our red test case before we implement the code. So what you're going to see here is a very simple test case. It has two parts. In the first part, we are going to insert into the user table a test record. And in the second step, what we're going to do is we're going to select some data from the audit log table and to make sure that the audit log keeps track of a change to the user's table, that our user ID number one has been inserted into the database. Now, of course, if I'm going to run this currently with my current schema, this is going to fail. And we see that we expected this record to be returned to our test, but we got nothing really. And the reason for that, of course, is that the trigger has not been yet defined on the database. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's uncomment some code here. And you can see this block create or replace function. This is the function that we're going to run whenever there's a change to a role in the user's table. Let's add that. We're going to rerun our test. And of course, it's still failing. The reason for that is because we forgot or we did not create the actual trigger. This trigger says that whenever an insert or an update happens to the user's table, we're going to execute this function. So let's see what happens now. Great, our test case passes, and now we can be sure that whenever a record is inserted to this database, a new audit log entry will be created. Taking this a bit further, let's make sure that whenever we make an edit, whenever we update our record, we also get an audit log uh, entry. So the, let's extend the test case by running this statement, this update user's uh, email. And afterwards, we're going to use a new kind of block, which is an assertion. 
assertion basically you supply a SQL statement and you need to give a, 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 a query that returns a boolean value so we can use the select exists um, query to make sure that we have an audit, audit log entry where the op is update and the ref ID or the object ID that was changed is number one. So just in the spirit of making sure that we always go from red to green, let's make a failing test first and then we can repair our assertion and again we went from red to green. So that concludes our demonstration of how to write tests for your database schema. If you want to try it out, please download the most recent version of Atlas today and run the Atlas login command to create a free account. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about Atlas, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to talk with people on our team or with members of our community, please join our Discord server today. Links to both are below and see you next time.